You know, sometimes you can see a picture over and over and over again and never really pay attention to it. And then, when you finally see what you never saw before, it's very disturbing. Well, let's look at this picture that popped up on Facebook last night. Uh, it's an advertisement in a wish book catalog. Not sure if it's from Sears or, I don't know, maybe JCPenney's. I don't know whoever else did them, but most people think of Sears. And it's an ad showing the uh, Halloween costumes you could get for that time. And there we go. I mean, we've got a nurse at the top. We've got two gay bikers at the top also. Uh, a ballerina. Uh, I guess a virgin bride. We've got Spider... Spider. we got Superman. we got... Spock in one of the weirdest Spock shirts I've ever seen. Utility belt. We got Batman with his big logo that says Batman on it like you couldn't tell. Oh, I, I wasn't sure who that was. Good thing it said Batman on it. And then you got Superman fixing to take off and fly. And then you got the coolest Evil Knievel. Man, I didn't see that as a kid. That would have been awesome. And then you got the homecoming whore right there in the center. And then you got six million dollar man's girlfriend the bionic woman i don't know how much she cost i know he cost six million i don't know her price and it's just like a woman not to tell you the price and right next to that we've got the six million dollar man with a ronald reagan mask it looks like a ronald reagan mask to me i mean i'll let you decide and i started looking at this photo and Oh, remembering Halloween as a kid and just looking at it and saying, which one of these would I get? Uh, I had the ballerina once, so I wouldn't get it. Uh, Superman had a cape, so I might would get that. Batman, Batman, I don't know why Batman got a cape. He don't even fly. Evil Knievel, I would have loved to have that. <laughs> I would like to just have a shirt like that. It would be cool. Spock's a little too out there. But then, started seeing something about the two millionaires, the two bionic people and other than the Ronald Reagan mask I started looking at the bionic woman hmm would I want to be that well no I don't want to be bionic woman I mean I'm gonna be Steve Austin I'm gonna be the six million dollar man I'm gonna be Lee Majors the soon to be Colt Seavers you know I could take the red jumpsuit off and tell people I'm Colt Seavers so I started looking at it and I said well that's nice they got one for the boys one for the girls it's a simpler time back here in the late 70s then I started looking at it more. First, I got a little perverted on me. I said, I don't see any breast. I said, calm down, junk man. It's a kid. It's not a woman dressed up like the bonnet woman. I know when I watched the show, I could tell that was a woman. My whole body changed when I watched that show. So I started looking a little closer. I looked at the mask. And I noticed. Look at that haircut. That's... I know this is going to be shocking for a lot of you to hear. It was shocking for me when I saw it. It's a boy haircut. Yeah. You're looking at a boy dressed up like the bionic woman. Not the bionic man. Not the $6 million man. We have a boy dressed up like the bionic woman. Jamie Summers. A boy in a Jamie Summers costume. I don't know where he's going to trick-or-treating at. If it's not San Francisco, he's going to get his candy stolen before he gets to the first house. Hmm. Well, I guess not the first house, because then he wouldn't have no candy by the second house then. But it just seemed, I mean, the ballerina's a girl. The second half of the gay bikers is a girl. The nurse is a girl. The homecoming slut is a girl. They're all girls, as far as I could tell. Now that little nun, well, that one at the top then is also a girl. The boys had their costumes, the girls had their costumes. Why is the boy dressed up like Jamie Summers, a.k.a. the Bonic Woman? It made no sense to me. It's blown my mind. It just doesn't seem right. Who is this kid? They must have paid him a lot of money because, you know, all the other kids went to school and said, Look, I'm in the weird, I'm in the Sears Wish book. Look, I'm Spock. Look, I'm Batman. Hey, look, I'm a nurse. Hey, look, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a floozy homecoming queen. And then he comes to school and says, Hey, look at me. I, I'm the female 
six million dollar man. I'm the bionic woman. I'm dressed up like a girl. I know you. I know you, Gen, you Gen Zs or whatever you're thinking. And what's that? It doesn't matter. You can be whatever you want to be. But this was a different time back then. I know you think it's hip and cool to dress like a girl. The only cool guy I knew that liked to dress like a girl was named Klinger. <sighs> but again, I'm not judging anyone that does it today. Different standard. Just as odd to see a boy dressed like a girl in a Halloween costume when I'm looking at pictures from the 70s. But maybe I'm just old fashioned. I like my boy costumes to go on boys and the girl costumes to go on girls. I mean, the last thing I want to see knocking on my door on Halloween is a 16 year old boy dressed up like a sexy cat. No, we don't want that. Or maybe it's a girl with short hair. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.